What up, watch peeps? I love a good feel watch dial and I love a good skin diver case. Canister has blended the two in a union that rivals the Reese's peanut butter cup. All right, let's not be crazy, but it's pretty dang good and it's right up my alley. Let's check it out. I'm Pete and we are chilling with watches. Wrist check, I'm wearing the SKX today, the 009. This watch, it just still calls to me every so often. I just really enjoy wearing it. But let's check out this Canister Fieldmaster. Now this is just a prototype and it just came to me in this watch pod. They have been posting the packaging on their Instagram and of all things, it comes in this really cool kind of canister. So genius of marketing on their part, but check this bad boy out. Right out of the box, this one just screams tool watch. Now I think a lot of that comes from the dial, which is a very traditional field watch layout, but also this knurled bezel, the fully graduated minute track on the bezel insert. Now these come in white, black, and this blue I have here. I thought the blue would be my least favorite of the three, but in hand, I like it a lot more than I expected to. They did a good job of not making it so dark that it looks black, but not making it so light that it looks like a toy. Now this will be launching on Kickstarter on Monday, October 4th, and the first 50 backers will get this at 329 Canadian, which works out to be less than $275 US. Now the case on these draws a lot of cues from skin divers. You have these really long lugs that flow away from the case, but then they are straight cut, which is a very skin diver look. Now the lugs themselves, and I'm just talking about this little portion here at the end, they're actually very short, leaving no gap between the case, even with a strap, which I think looks fantastic. And I'll put one on there and we can take a look at that later. But you have these angular crown guards, very cohesive with the design. And one of the first things I noticed was that the crown is maybe a little small, but especially inside these like heavy crown guards, it's a little hard to manipulate. But fear not, the production version will have a larger crown than does this prototype. So that is one of the things they're gonna be changing. Now, I really like the profile view of this watch. I much prefer more mid case and less case back in my design. I think they have a nice balance here. It's vertically brushed with a great curvature to it. So while the lug to lug is long, it, it does still hug the wrist with this shape they have here. Now, another change to the production is that they will have drilled lugs on these, which the prototype here does not. And so this is a great sign. They're not only listening to the enthusiasts and, and the feedback they're getting, but they're doing the things. They're giving us what we want. So that's a good sign. Now, so much of the curve or turn down on these lugs, that if you look, see if I can show you here, the case back actually, if you can see right where the case back meets the lugs, it actually tucks up in the case there. So I think that does a nice job of getting the case back under the case and not making the rest of the watch sit so high up on your wrist. Looking at the case back, it has some kind of cool circular pattern. I know there's some reference to an artillery piece there. Because it's the base of an ar artillery piece, I believe. Now check out the tolerances on this bezel where it meets the case. It is so clean and tight, it's really impressive. Like there's just all the way around too, there's almost no gap there. And speaking of the bezel, the action on this bezel is top notch. It is really smooth and consistent, slick clicks. It's easy to grip with this kind of heavy knurling pattern it has on it. I, th I think it all just makes a really cohesive design. And again, with the tolerance, look at the transition from the bezel insert to the crystal. See if I can get a good angle on there. I mean, it's almost like a glass tabletop. It's really smooth. There's no gap. There's no bump. It's really nice and flat. And again, we have a ceramic insert with a full minute track, very military, kind of reminds me of the Millspec Omega Seamaster 300 bezel insert. Now we just have a printed dial with a date at three o'clock. You have loom plots around the outside, which is again, very traditional way that field watch dials are done. 
Really cool shaped sword hands. I love these hands. If it was me, I may have made them a little bit fatter, but they by no means need to be. I really like the links on this bracelet, especially with this wider center link. The thickness of the bracelet is really almost perfectly in proportion to the thickness of the case. It does have male end links, which add to this kind of already long lug to lug, but based on how short these lugs are, and again, I'm talking about this little distance right here, a female end link is not really an option. But again, for the production model, I know they are working on a straight end link bracelet for people with smaller wrists. And one of the reasons I like straight cut lugs is that you can use, you don't need fitted end links. You can use a straight end link bracelet and they look just fine. In fact, I have what I would consider average wrist size, and I think I will opt for the straight end link bracelet. I just really like how they wear. It'll, it'll drop right away from the case and I think it'll lay better on the wrist. Now the clasp again is a very solid, kind of your standard fold over, push button, safety clasp. It is milled out scissor mechanism and it has a ton of micro adjusts on here. Uh, and again, it is also signed with their logo, which is the symbol for an artillery, an artillery placement, I believe. Now this is an unadjusted prototype movement. So the time graph for reading is you know, pretty meaningless, but let's throw it on there anyway and see how it's doing. So like I said, time graph for reading, not very meaningful in this situation. It is running at plus 17, plus 18. Uh, canister has assured me that this is not indicative of how the production pieces will be running. Those will be adjusted, regulated, but it does have a nice healthy, healthy amplitude and very minimal beat error. Let's talk numbers. We are looking at a 41 millimeter case and it has a 51 millimeter lug to lug and it comes in at just under, I got 11.9 millimeters thick and it has 20 millimeter lugs. Uh, as for some of the other specs, we are looking at a very nice flat sapphire crystal. It has C3 loom, thumbs up on that. It's running the Miyota 9015 movement and it features 200 meters of water resistance. And on this bracelet size for my seven and a quarter inch wrist, it came in at 162 grams. So speaking of that, let's take a look at it on wrist. And here's how it wears on my seven and a quarter. And as you can see, I think my wrist size handles this watch no problem, especially with that nice turn down of the lugs and even the turn down of the first link. I think it really handles and hugs the wrist shape. I'd really like to check out that straight end link bracelet because I think it'll wear even better. And let me throw it on a strap for you guys because it wears fantastic on a strap and then we'll take a look at it side by side some other watches. So here it is on this silicon waffle strap. And here you can see what I was talking about, how there's no gap between the case and the strap when you have these nice straight cut lugs. I think that makes for a killer look and it's why you can support a straight end link bracelet just fine. I think these will be coming with uh, the bracelet, these waffle straps and a NATO as well. So let's do some side by sides. Starting small, we'll compare it to the 39 millimeter black bay 58 and i mean you can see it has a large dial opening and a rather narrow bezel insert so it does show that it is quite a bit larger than the black bay 58 which wears small for its size all right let's move up a little bit to the skx which is 42 the skx is just a little bit larger than the canister the small dial opening again making it present a little smaller but the case is about a millimeter and a half bigger than that on the canister. Thickness I think is quite similar. Moving up one more notch, here it is next to the 44 millimeter turtle. Now here that smaller dial opening, I think the turtle is big enough that it is not give, giving you any illusions with that smaller dial. You can see that's just a larger watch, especially with this extra cushion case protruding out the sides. I would say the canister wears closer to that of the SKX. Pretty similar wears in my opinion. All right, let's check out the C3 loom. Keep the loom. 
I thought the loom on here looked quite good. It's C3, so it's fantastic loom, but they have told me they're gonna be doubling or tripling, I can't remember which, the, the amount of loom, the number, the layers of loom on the production models. So I think you'll be able to expect even brighter loom on the production models, but it looks great. That's it guys, the canister. Fieldmaster, a really cool design and a really well-built watch. And if you're one of the first 50 on Kickstarter, you're gonna get a ridiculous deal. All three colors look good to me, I'm into it. All right, before I let you go, sneaker check. Just wearing my Jordan 4 Fire Reds and that's it, I'm out. If it's not too much trouble, please like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.